I'm Luke Sherville. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today we're going to talk about what you get when you rent a grip truck. So in San Francisco, uh, you know, it's a it's a smaller market. It's not like LA or New York. And so uh, most of the trucks that are available are combo trucks. So you're going to get uh, a grip package and then you're going to get the lighting package. Uh, and they're going to come in the same truck. So, you know, if you've got a feature, you got a larger commercial, then you can get separate trucks for grip and electric. But uh, usually, you know, on, on corporate or smaller commercials, uh, you're going to have a, a combo truck. And so, uh, thinking that through, you know, when you're looking for pricing, then you go to the website of Equipment Rental House and uh, you'll see price for a grip truck. And uh, that price includes the grip package and the truck. So, uh, and then, you know, plus mileage. And um, uh, then there's sort of two different ways that you can approach the, the lighting package. And that is uh, either uh, a la carte, so you have to say exactly which unit you want, and they might throw a few extra on, but basically you're gonna get what you asked for. That's a la carte, or pay as used. And so, um, you know, a la carte tends to be for the larger rental houses, um, and then pay as used tends to be the way uh, the smaller uh, individual owner operator, you know, uh, a person might have just uh, one or two trucks. And um, uh, that's a nice model because then, you know, most of the units you have are on that truck. And then, uh, you know, if you're coming from out of town, uh, maybe you didn't have a time, you didn't have a chance to scout, or you might get thrown a curve by, you know, your client, uh, and all of a sudden you're in a, in a room with windows and now you need a little more firepower. Uh, if you're going the pay-as-use route, now you've got, uh, you know, the, the instruments to make that happen. So uh, that's the route uh, I've taken because I just have a two-ton and I don't have multiple trucks to, you know, where I have to maximize, you know, spreading the, uh, the amount of lights I have to all those trucks. Um, the majority of my units are on this truck. And uh, so I thought maybe uh, it'd be worth uh, just giving you a little walkthrough of what you get with a standard two-ton. All right, let's pull these guys out and uh, show you what we've got on these carts. One nice thing about the lift gate, it's aluminum and it's got those stops at the end, which is cool. But it's also cut in on the left and the right. So if you're in a really narrow uh, driveway or something, you can bring the back doors back parallel to the sides of the truck and still be able to bring the lift gate up and down. First off, we've got the C-stand cart. And you've got uh, 10 regular size C stands and two uh, low boy C stands. And then you've got uh, two families of uh, uh, apple boxes and uh, a couple of pigeon plates. And then there's a 800 J8 and uh, an S30 sky panel. And then there's uh, 50 foot stingers, 30 foot stingers, and some tools and sandbags. Then on the back, there are also some baby stands and some preemies uh, for good measure. Then moving on, we've got the flag cart. So you've got some uh, 42 by frames on the back, as well as uh, plenty of gel to uh, skin up new frames. And then we've got uh, 1824s and, and uh, two by threes and some cutters and a bunch of jelly rolls and then there's uh, uh, some crates with uh, plenty of cartellinis and, um, and then also some uh, grip heads and uh, uh, baby rigging stuff and then we've got uh, tape a little bit of makeup for uh, anti-shine sprays and crush tips in case you're going to a house that you got to be careful about the floors 
and then we've got some black wrap and uh, C47s, and then there's a duve on top and spring clamps. So just a, a nice little taco cart basically, and then uh, even have some, um, some wedges and some uh, coverings for cables on the floor. So and then moving on, this is the uh, Kino cart. So it's the exact same cart. Uh, it's the mini backstage cart. It's just been outfitted for uh, Kinos. And so you've got your uh, head cables, ballast, and I just, and then a bunch of stingers. And I just have uh, two of each, two uh, four by fours, four foot by twos, two foot by fours, two by twos, and an Amara. And then there's a, uh, uh, I just do them all with, um, with four banger ballast and then uh, use adapters to, uh, to change them out to um, uh, two foot and singles. Well, then I have some four foot singles as well. So there you go. Oh, and I think there's a 15 inch. So um, that's it for uh, what you get cart wise. And then going on to the truck. Okay, on the top left, you've got one and a quarter rail for a 12 by frame, uh, eight by frame, and then there's two square tube eight by frames and a six by frame. There's uh, two uh, Area 48 remote phosphor lights, a 1K baby, some dados, uh, extra bulbs, uh, inkies, two 300s, two 650s. And then uh, just past this uh, last crate up here, there's a, a hi-hat. Then uh, deep into the nose, uh, down there, there's the blue bags. Those are six by six. The green is eight by eight. And uh, to the right, it's all 12 by 12. There's also a green screen, 12 by 12, and uh, two 12 by 20 curtains. Uh, there's a three foot ladder up above there, and an eight foot ladder up on the right here, and then a six foot ladder. And then there's another uh, two families of, of boxes and some rigging gear. There's, uh, there's rope, there's uh, um, cheese burrows, there's a box of wedges and cribbing, there's extra uh, clamp ons and um, some uh, grip clips and, and extra black wrap. Then down here uh, in the center, there's a, a case here that uh, needs to be relabeled. I got that from Alan Steinheimer, but that's got two uh, S60 uh, airy sky panels in it. And then in this first hamper, there are uh, two yellow uh, storm cases. Each one has two one by one uh, bicolor Astras. And then in that same uh, hamper, there's a Joe Lico and two um, you know, low boy stands for uh, Dana Dolly. In the back hamper, there's an M18, an M8, and a 400 Joker. Then there's some extra cases here uh, with, uh, in the blue case, there's uh, V-mount batteries. To the right, there's a Passport Dolly. It's like a Dana Dolly, made by Rig Wheels. Uh, and then there's a, a case there with a light gear, um, small equipment that can be run off of uh, batteries. There's ellipsoidals to the left there, uh, even a, a uh, a hive wasp, and then there's some uh, more uh, junior roller stands back there, and then there's some uh, gel and some six by rail for a Dana dolly, uh, and extra uh, Kino tubes, and then uh, there's a lot of tools here up on the top shelf, and then there's some small uh, speed rail, uh, shorter pieces. There's uh, more 42 by frames and floppies. There's a 42 uh, inch uh, mirror and uh, two shiny boards and a lot of uh, art card. And then in the, in the nose there on the bottom, there's uh, uh, longer pieces of, uh, of foam core. And then there's two uh, four bys of uh, beadboard with uh, silver on one side. And so, um, you know, there's a lot more in there. What, one thing I forgot to uh, mention was that there's a second M18 on the shelf that's next to the wasp and the, uh, the other ellipsoidals. There's also an ellipsoidal housing that can take an 800 Joker for uh, 800 Joker Jolico. Uh, there's also a small table in there and some interview chairs. So um, rubber mat, uh, and then there's two jockeys on either side that have uh, uh, a lot more sandbags than are just on that one cart. There's plenty there. So that's what you get with this two-ton grip truck before any kind of add-ons or sub-rentals. And remember, the lights are pay as used. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.
One thing that I think works out pretty well with the pay as use model is that the grip package is a little beefier than standard. So, uh, you know, I've got one truck. So as I get grip gear, it goes on the truck. You know, uh, it doesn't sit in the shop. It, it makes my life easier if I have those extra things so they're on the truck already. And so the, the pay as use model, uh, I think, is an advantage to, you know, in, in some respects, because now you've got extra stuff that you don't have to think about and put on a list uh, in order for it to show up on the set. It's just already there. So, um, you know, that, that's just a, a, a little plus, I think, uh, that comes with the, uh, the, the pay as use model.